you guys Rakita Nicole here um, this is going to be a tutorial on how to uh, create a faux fake <laughs> aka fake sidebar for your Squarespace templates um, some Squarespace templates have uh, sidebars but the ones that a lot of people like don't have a sidebar available for the block for their blog um, or they have a sidebar but it doesn't have that much of functionality. Um, so I'm going to show you how you can um, create a faux fake sidebar and an example of this is on my blog. Um, this is over here a fake sidebar. Okay and I'm going to show you how you can do that. Okay so first I have a blog and it's the one column blog and I do not like one column blogs. That's just me. That's my preference. Um, so I love a sidebar. Um, and so the first thing we need to do to create it is create our blog page. This is different from the um, default blog page. We're going to create our own one. So you go to um, this plus sign or add a page, but we're going to do an, an, an unlinked one for right now for example purposes. So go to page and we're going to call it my blog. Press enter. Okay, so we're going to edit this and we're going to um, go to our content at a content block. Um, I think we should use the grid content block. For some reason it's not coming up, let's see. I don't understand why it's not coming up. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, for some reason the carousel come up. We're not going to use the carousel though. We're going to use the grid. Okay, so first we want to choose a uh, collection of what items we want to feature and we want our blog. So we're going to go to my blog. And you see I have the grid feature here. Okay, we're going to go to layout. And so we want, I kind of want it square or even not standard or a vertical. But I think I want a square for this purpose. And so we're gonna expand, we're gonna keep the column width for now to 270 or 275. And we wanna keep it left justified Start it and change it. I'm going to keep the font here for now. Like that can be anything you like if you want it bigger. We want the display. I want the date to be posted. And I want the show read more link to be posted. Which is right there. And I want the date posted. And I'll get back to the other things later. And I want my date to be a, a below the title, not at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to apply that and press. And see, we have our grid summary blocks. Okay, so we have this text here that we didn't get rid of. I'm going to drag that to the side of this my my um, grid summary. So, make sure it's lined up with that. And then I'm going to adjust it how big I want my sidebar to be. But you see, I don't want that. Some people might want this effect on their blog, but I don't necessarily want it that way. So, you can have that grid, lay, that grid layout still but I just don't prefer it that way. 
Okay, so I'm going to go back to edit the summary block. And I'm going to change the column width. I think that's a bit big, so let's do 400 and see what it does. 350 and see what it does. Let's go a little smaller. Nope. Right about there. And then you can change the gutter width. Give your give more space in between these items. But I think that's a good enough size. And press apply. Okay, so now we have our sidebars, sort of. So here's what my sidebar looks like at the moment. I have my photo, I have what I want to say, my social networks, and other good stuff. So I'm going to add a image. And let's say I wanted it. Um, add an image of a person, maybe myself if I find one. Let's say this person. Of course, this takes a while to load. It's a big photo. And then I'm going to apply it. But I do not want a caption, so I'm going to put no caption below. Of course, this is not me. So, um, and then down here could be my caption of who I am, what am I, what I'm about, and then for my next um, sidebar block, I can put a line here to um, separate certain items, and then I can put my header. Let's say, follow me here. Okay, then I want to add my social networks. Let's see if where I can find that. Sorry. My social links. Uh oh. And so there you have it. I have my social links here. And mind you, there's a lot of space, but that can be fixed with um, CSS. And I want to center this. Okay, and so to add another um, block, you can, let's say you want to put your newsletter. And I'm going to use, I'm not going to use anything just yet, but apply. Okay. And then I'm just press cancel for right now. So that's my newsletter. And so there you have, there's a sidebar. So now if you want some more space in between the blog and the um, sidebar, Add a spacer, add it in between here, and then adjust the spacing. And that will give you some space between your sidebar. I wanna get rid of this line, it's distracting. So let's go back to my blog. Okay, so you have made a faux sidebar. So the other thing that's probably missing that you would probably want is the navigation at the bottom. Um, what I would do to um, rectify that 
is to add your archives. I don't know why it's not adding today. I'm not sure why it's not adding. I'm going to try coming over here and edit. Doesn't want to work with me today. But you can add an archive um, link and then they can get more of a list of your post or you can add more. This only only have three blog posts, so only can have three on this page at a time. But you can choose how many you want. However many posts you want, I only have three for right now. Um, oh, and it's also important that you have show excerpt um, because you don't want the whole post to show on your on your main blog page. And so how you do that. Double clicking. Edit. Okay, I have my post here. And then I go to options and you make sure you add an insert on to your um into the post. Or unless nothing will be nothing will be there. Uh it will just be the photo. You have your thumbnail photo. And that's it. But you want to have something there. So all I did was just copy the first paragraph. And you can do whatever you like, but I like that's all I did. And then I press save. And so I'm going to go back to my blog page. And let's see how that looks. And it looks like a regular, regular blog. So that's how you make a faux fake sidebar for any template in Squarespace. I mean, I mean any template. The template that I'm using right now is a the Fulton, I believe. I believe it's the Fulton um, template in Squarespace. So there's been myths where you cannot have a sidebar or um, you can't create certain things in Squarespace, but you can. There's ways around um, everything. Oh, now the archive is showing. So what I did for my, my blog is just I put that, but I don't necessarily like this. So I'm going to display it a different type of way. I'm going to, I don't like the list either. I do like the drop down. And you can say, see more recent posts. And apply. And so I'm going to save that. And right there, they can drop down and you can see the most recent post. I think there's a way you can list it. Yes. So I only have posts in January. Um, so that's another way that, that people can access the rest of your post. Or you can put um, a tag cloud or anything on your sidebar to get to get to let people get to you, the rest of your post. So voila, that is how you make a faux sidebar. So have fun with that. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.